What the heck is this? Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be discussing airports. It's gonna be a three-part series. First one will be departures, second one will be flights, and the third one will be arrivals. Uh, this video suggestion was made by one of my uh, group members in the WhatsApp group. He suggested I do a video on airports. So here I am, I'm doing a video. If you guys have any videos you'd like to suggest I make, come join the WhatsApp group. The link will be below. Ask me anything you want. We're talking in there every day. So come join us, let's have some fun. So before we get into this, I'd like to ask you to consider subscribing to the channel. Hit that like button if you find this video useful. Make sure you share this video with anybody that you know that's learning English. Social media links are below. With that being said, Let's jump right in. So when you first arrive at an airport, the very first thing you need to do is to check your luggage or check your baggage. So when they say check, they mean you have to bring it up to the check-in counter, which is what these are over here. You can see some people working there and you basically give them your luggage and they'll load it onto the plane. This is also where they give you your boarding pass. So a boarding pass is just basically a ticket that allows you to get on the plane. There are also small pieces of luggage that are called carry-ons that you can keep with you and take onto the plane. While you're here, you could check your departures. So when you're checking this departure screen, you're looking for your flight number, your flight time, and the gate that you have to board at. So the gate is the area where you sit and you wait to get onto the plane. Then once you're done, at the check-in counter, you got your boarding pass, you've checked your luggage, so the big pieces of luggage are gone. They put little tags on them and they're gonna be loaded on the airplane for you. And you got your carry-on luggage with you. Then you have to go through security. And sometimes you have to wait in long lines for this. Um, it's really annoying. And sometimes you have to be searched, like this gentleman here. So he's got his arms up and the security guard is looking for drugs or weapons or anything that's not supposed to be on the plane. It's probably a pretty thankless job. It probably sucks, but it also sucks to be searched. All right, guys, let's watch this short video. This is actually a pretty good representation of what going through security is like. So your bags will go through the x-ray machine. If the security guard finds anything suspicious, he'll stop you. Uh, what the heck is this? That's weird. Uh, all right, I gotta stop this guy. Hey, whose bag is this? Oh, hey, uh, hello, it's mine. No, uh, something's really weird going on in here. All right, I'm gonna open this right now. And all right, everything looks normal. I'm keeping an eye on you. All righty then, let's search. All right, and right here. What? What is that? What is it? It's mouthwash. You can't have liquids on the plane. You are free to go, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Now, these security checks can also be very aggressive. Ooh. They'll pat you down looking for drugs or weapons. And they can get a little bit handsy. And if they suspect that you might be carrying weapons or drugs, they can do a strip search. Or, worst case scenario, they could do a cavity search. And I'm not talking about checking your teeth. They'll check every part of your body. And, of course, I'm sure everyone's heard about the random selection for a security check. Uh, hold on. You've been selected for a random security check. Me? Wow, I'm so lucky. Hey, guys, you hear that? I got selected. Ah, me. Must be my lucky hat. Now, if you happen to be trying to traffic drugs through the airport, you are called a drug mule. And drug mules can, can hide drugs anywhere in their body. Okay, I don't want to get caught with drugs. Give it to me. I'll hide it. Oh. 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 Yeah, clean your hands, but Oh, this is not comfortable at all. This is not comfortable at all. So, you've successfully gotten through security. And now, you're into the duty-free area. 
Duty Free is an area where you can buy goods like alcohol, clothing, knickknacks. This is basically where you go shopping before you get on your plane. Duty Free means you don't have to pay any extra cash to get the goods into the country. It's basically a shopping mall in the airport. Okay, you've made it through Duty Free. So you've gotten through the Duty Free and you found your gate. This is your gate. This is where your flight is. This is where you get on the plane. This is where you board the plane. So earlier you heard me mention a boarding ticket. This is where you use that ticket to get onto the plane. This is called the gate. And at the gate, there'll be people working there who will take your tickets and allow you to get onto the plane. Now boarding all passengers. Now this guy has this carry-on. It's supposed to be small. It's supposed to be able to go on the plane and go above in the luggage compartment. That's not going to fit. He thinks it's going to fit, but it's not going to fit. <laughs> now sometimes airlines overbook the flights. So that means that there's too many tickets sold and not enough seats. So someone typically gets left off the plane. That's called overbooking or you got bumped from the flight so you've made it to your gate and you're waiting to get on your flight and you look out the window and you see a man loading the luggage onto the plane as you can see this guy is not being very careful now the slang term for this position that this person works in is called a ramp rat and it's labor intensive although these boxes don't look very heavy uh, why he decided to throw those like that and then have to pick them up later, I don't know. So the area where the luggage is loaded onto the airplane is called the tarmac. And later, when you see the plane about to take off, that is called the runway. Okay guys, that's it for today. That's everything to do with departures. In the next video, we'll be discussing flights. So what happens after you get on your flight, what to look for, what to do, what you experience on your flight. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to learn more, feel free to check out these videos over here. And smash my face to subscribe. Don't smash this face. Smash that one. Yeah. Smash that one. Peace, guys.